Hey everybody, it's Ruby here today, and today I wanted to do a booktube tag. I discovered this on my search on YouTube while looking at videos, and thought this one was particularly interesting because it is more about the intention of the channel and some sort of things that I wish about this channel. So very honest, but also very thoughtful. It is less about sort of the books that I'm reading and more about sort of my intentions go going forward, which I thought was really cool because I don't know, I find it kind of weird doing booktube tags that are about just books in general because I find that I don't really deviate in terms of genre or in terms of particular like air times or areas that I read. So it's not, I don't find it particularly interesting to be doing those sorts of videos just because I don't think that I have very interesting reading habits. But I thought this one was interesting because it was slightly different. It's created by J.D. Estrada hopefully I said that right. And he has some really cool videos that are very much like this tag, very thoughtful uh, and very thought provoking. So I thought that I would do this tag. I have it just like written down here because I'm actually filming on my phone. I'm like trying to figure out how to do this because when I export it, the, the image gets smaller, which is really interesting. So I'm trying to figure out where to put my face. I don't know. Anyways, so let's get on to the questions. So the first question is, realistically, how many people would you wish were following you by the end of the year? Um, I honestly think it's just kind of cool how many subscribers I already have. And I know that a lot of that is from some of my more popular videos. And so I'm still kind of struggling with making sure to get videos kind of uploaded regularly. So I don't really have particularly high hopes of it like going exponentially and honestly I think that this number is actually really cool. I think that there are a lot of people that are engaged and will comment on this on these videos. So I would say that really my only wish would be to get them up to 2000. It's at I think 1700 right now. I honestly just want the even number. So second question is, who would you wish for to see something on your channel? I think a lot of people, when they would answer this question, would think about heroes or authors or those sorts of people, which was definitely not the first person I thought of when I heard this question. The first one I thought of was actually the, like, the original booktubers that I watched, as well as the Vlogbrothers, who are basically the first YouTubers that I watched and kind of got into and vlogged. And so I think it would be really cool for them to see my videos, especially since I think that the work that they do in educating people and the sort of channels that they have are really cool. So honestly, that would be the best. Three, what do you wish to do with your channel? Basically what I'm already doing, I would like to just be able to engage people, have honest, interesting discussions regarding reviewing books and sort of the ideas that they bring forth and to just be introduced to new books, which I think is really cool. A lot of people will suggest books in the comments based off of the sort of genres that I talk about, which I think is really cool. So I'm really exposed to a lot of books that I wouldn't otherwise be exposed to. I mean, there's still a lot of books I wouldn't be able to get to for reading, but at least I get sort of like feedback. So it's, it's really a, just a great like book club community, which I think is really cool. So yeah, I, I want to just be able to kind of like corner that particular niche in regards to just thought-provoking science fiction and speculative fiction, which I think I've done. Four, what impact would you wish your content to have? I want people to be able to walk away thinking differently about the books that they read and to be able to be exposed to books that they wouldn't otherwise have read themselves or that they, you know, have read but or have heard about but maybe haven't heard sort of that way of thinking about it. I don't do a lot of young adults or teen novels, which is the majority on YouTube. And so I want to be able to just diversify a little bit of the reading that's on YouTube. If your channel was broadcast into space and interpreted by other life forms that would perfectly understand you, what would you say? Say, hey guys, what? what's going on? Why are you not 
contacting Earth. Is there a specific reason? I would ask them if they've discovered faster space travel, if what kind of technologies they have. Maybe I would apologize for the human race and how much of a screw up we've been in terms of war and violence and that honestly they're have, gonna have a tough time if they actually come to earth but you know give me the information just don't actually physically come here six you are granted one wish to impact all the trolls on the internet what would it be empathy empathy totally um i and yeah empathy i think it's it's a mix between empathy and um knowing that even if you think you're right that doesn't mean that you should force your opinion on other people i have never been an internet troll but i have gotten into arguments online which is basically the same thing especially when you're belligerent enough to not be able to sort of let up in the argument with other people and i think that that sort of discussion comes from a lack of being able to see another person's side or the inability to care about another person's side and also the ingrained belief that you are smarter or that you are more enlightened than the other person that you're talking to which I don't think is ever really correct. Seven, what do you wish to improve on your channel? I want to upload more videos and I want to be better at editing the videos. I think that by the time I get ready for a video, I have an idea for a video, I've filmed the video, editing the video is probably the most tedious and time consuming and generally by that point I just want to upload it without doing anything and I've thought of that but I have way too many spaces and ums and like silent gaps where I wouldn't be able to just upload willy-nilly. And so I think that instead of just doing a mediocre job, I would like to be able to splice in clips or maybe do some more videos within videos and things like that. Things that are definitely within my fingertips and are within the editing software that I have, but I haven't really properly utilized. Eight, what experience would you wish to allow others to feel vicariously? Oh Jesus. Oh my God, this is so in depth. I mean, I knew about this tag, but <laughs> you're making me think on a Saturday? Oh my god! I think this goes back to empathy. I think that generally I'd want people to feel pain vicariously. That if you're feeling a particular kind of pain, to have the other people person feel it. Maybe not as chronically as you. Not necessarily that you feel someone else's pain entirely and completely, but that if you're telling someone about that pain, that they also feel it. Because you never fundamentally feel pain in the same way that other people do. Um, you're evil, even people who have like mirror touch synesthesia, where they generally uh, will like feel what other people feel in very intensely because of mirror neurons going all haywire They're still not feeling what the other person is feeling. They're feeling what they think the other person is feeling in some sort of way, right? I, I think that like intrinsically feeling that would be much easier because I feel like people often argue about what pain is worse for men and women or you know they won't think about certain kinds of pain that people are going through. And I'm talking about physical pain. I mean like mental pain too, but I feel like mental pain is a lot more universal than physical pain. I think that most people have felt a certain degree of depression or anxiety or loss, but maybe not as acutely. God, the someone just texted me and the, the whole setup went all wonky. So ex excuse me if, if something's all whack. I think one thing that I would like people to live vicariously in terms of what I've experienced would be the ability to get into the flow of something artistic or academic and to be able to feel a sort of flow or happiness or creativity that goes along with that. because. I think that a lot of people do have it if they play like an instrument or they're in a band or they're an artist but I think a lot of people don't feel that or maybe they question it and I think that would be something kind of be able to like see if other people experience that and if that's something that is like specifically regarding artists art 
or if that is like if that also goes to like the religious experience like is, is all of that like the same feeling or is that all different feelings because there's no word for it right maybe there isn't another language and you know english is just really bad at it nine what do you wish was easier about booktube eating i was thinking about this the other day that i think there's like multiple reasons why certain genres on YouTube are easier to watch and to produce than others and that some of the differences between like booktube and cosmetics or beauty or makeup is generally just related to like the fact that there's a, a more general audience to watch that sort of stuff and because like you know the cosmetic industry is huge but also because you can create a makeup look, create a tutorial, and wear it and test it out in a smaller period of time than it takes to read a book, except for people who are vicarious or are intense readers, right? So, and I'm someone who like really goes off and on for reading. So I think that being able to go through books would probably be easier. Um, so I, I, I kind of just wish that it would be easier to just read books all the time. Uh, and 10, who do you wish to tag? I wish to tag anybody who's been away for a really long time. I'm not going to do anybody specifically because a lot of people that sort of started when I did have actually stopped around the same time I did. And so, I don't know. I, I just want anybody who's kind of getting back into it to do it. And um, let me know if you've done the tag down below. And if you've liked this video, I will get back to doing reviews and stuff next week, but I thought this would be a fun video in the meantime. So I will also link the original video down below and like, subscribe, do your thing, and I will talk to you guys later.